I have this really bad habit of holding back when I'm excited about something and it's not healthy, l let me tell you. And I'm breaking that bad habit here because DNF Duel is one of those games that has me excited like no other. I've been keeping up with every reveal trailer and literally it's like I've never felt like this about any fighting game. Usually when characters are revealed, I'm like, hey, all right, you know, that person is cool, but I might not play them. But this game, on the other hand, for some wild reason, I want to play everyone. I'm pretty sure it all comes down to the character designs and the way the game's presented. Because while yes, it is an Arxis game and you can argue that it looks very similar to GG Xard and Grand Blue Fantasy Versus, something about it still feels very unique and different from other Arxis fighters. Now, I'm currently recording on Wednesday, December 15th, and the open beta actually starts this Friday, December 17th. And up to now, you know, I, while I'm excited for the game, you know, just in general, just how everything looks, it, it just looks really cool. It all comes down to how this coolness will translate into gameplay. From a visual standpoint, the game looks incredible, right? Like, there's no denying that. But speaking of such visuals, we also don't know how things are going to look in terms of like UI layout and whatnot. There's definitely still a lot we don't know, but hopefully those questions will be answered when we get to play the open beta this Friday, because I am praying that this game does well. I'm a bit sad that I've never played Dungeon Fighter online because that's the game's source material, but I'm super happy for the people who played Dungeon Fighter online when they're younger and are seeing this game come into existence. But don't worry, don't worry, I had my Nexon filled childhood with Maple Story. Just know, now we just need a Maple Story fighting game. Let's do this. Gotta bring my childhood back while we're at it. All that aside, I'm super happy that this game is even a thing and that it's in production, it's in development, and that we're gonna be seeing it soon. I guess soon in terms of the open beta. I'm not really sure when the release date is. Maybe I just didn't see it flying around, but I don't know. I, I don't know when I don't think it has a release date yet. With Vanguard being revealed yesterday, it's just making my decision on who to main that much more difficult. I think Berserker looks cool as heck. He looks mad powerful and his normals are crazy. I think Inquisitor looks really really interesting. That looks like a character I might pick up. You just have to appreciate a Crusader waifu when you see one, all right? Grappler also looks nice. I mean, I don't think I'm gonna play him, but I don't know. I think he looks pretty cool. I mean, the Grappler archetype has never been my thing. I've always been more of a rushdown kind of person, but you know, you never know. I might try him out. I think Striker looks awesome and a lot of fun to play. I mean, she looks like one of the more normal characters in the game. She seems very grounded in basic fundamentals and overall easy to pick up, so I'm really looking forward to giving her a go. I also think Ranger's a really cool zoner. His moves look saucy as heck, and if you know me, you know I I like my saucy characters. I'm actually really hyped to see more of him. Now, Hitman is a character that I might main. Like, that might be my, like, main main character, right? Everyone else might be pocket, but let me tell you, Hitman just looks cool, and honestly, I, I think I'm, I don't know, I just think it'd be fun to play him, because if you know me in fighting games, literally all my mains are females for a variety of reasons, and if I can use Hitman to help me get out my comfort zone, then, then I will do that. What can I say? The guy just looks cool. He looks epic. I mean, his moves look pretty normal, you know? They don't look like anything too crazy, but it also does look crazy at the same time, you know? I don't know. Hitman is just sick, dude. He's looking to be my main right now. So so far. I also think Dragonite looks awesome. She looks amazing. Like, aside from the character design and how cool a lot of these are, I also think their movesets really capture their character well. I mean, I don't really know too much about the characters themselves and nature, but I can just tell the archetype they're shooting for is being nailed by the way the characters are played in the game. Really hoping that made sense, but it's just a feeling, you know? Everything about Dragonite feels right. I also think she might be a bit more technical than the other characters. I don't know if that little dragon is something that you can control or if that's just automatic, but regardless, I think she's one of the characters that has more options and maybe more things that you can experiment with. And that's really just a baseless assumption because we've never touched a game. Right now, I'm mainly talking off feeling and what I'm getting from these trailers, you get me? And of course, Vanguard was revealed yesterday and I think he also looks epic. He looks like he might have really good pokes with his spear. Like, I don't know, that range looks kind of nice. Maybe it's just me, but at some points it looks like he's just hitting from full screen. I mean, the dude is looking pretty wild. I'm not too sure of what the full roster size is going to look like or how many characters we'll be able to play in the open beta, but it seems like we have 10 characters that we can at least depend on to be in the game. Of course, at the time of recording, some of which haven't been revealed yet, but, you know, they're there. On the topic of open betas, I know Ka15 also has its own second beta going on this weekend, and I just find it funny how both of these betas are landing on the same days, and it seems like my weekend is going to be filled with the King of Fighters 15 and DNF Duel, and I'm quite excited for both. That's all I can say. But I guess that kind of wraps this up. I just wanted this to be really quick. Of course, I want to talk about this game more, but that'll have to be at a later date when we have more content to work with. But I really had to come on here because words aren't enough. My words on Twitter being hyped for this game, that's not enough. I needed to make a video about this, all right? And I'm so glad I did. I really wish I could sit around talking about fighting games all day. It's just, it's so much fun for me. Like, this is what I'm into and man. Anyway, this is dragged on for long enough. I just wanted to talk about this real fast and have a bit of fun doing it. If you want to talk to me or keep up with my weekly thoughts, you can catch me on social media. I'll leave the links to all that in the description below. It's been Otaku Dreams, and that is all she wrote.